In this video, I want to talk about collecting uh, secondhand data. Now, you don't always need to run your own experiment, okay, to get accurate data. You sometimes need to get um, data from somewhere else, okay? So, getting data from somewhere else. This is called secondhand data, okay? Secondhand data. Just like when you go to a shop and buy something secondhand, it's someone else, it was someone else's before, right? So, the data is someone else's in this case, too. Okay, for example, the internet. Okay, internet second hand contains second hand data. Okay, and um, you also need to be careful with second hand data, okay? Otherwise it could be wrong or it could be out of date. So be careful with second hand data as it could be wrong or um, out of date. Uh, Mark is dying, that's right. Um, and so why do we um, like to get secondhand data at times, okay? Well, many experiments require training beyond what you're doing now in, in your eight science, okay? So many experiments are complicated. Okay, they go beyond what you already know. They could involve things from, let's say, year 11, year 11 science. Um, also, many experiments, another reason why is many experiments uh, require equipment okay, that's not available. Okay, and it could be costly, let's say, let's say the school might not have the equipment. That's why uh, also another example is a telescope. If you're using, so you might have only a light telescope and not a radio telescope. Okay. Um, could be for reasons of pay, uh, for uh, money, or the fact that the school doesn't have it, okay? So that's why it's good to have secondhand data sometimes. Let me now talk about ways to determine if the data is accurate, ways to determine if data is accurate, if it's reliable, I should say. Reliable and accurate, okay? First, uh, check how old it is. So check how old data is. Number two, uh, where did it come from? Okay, so if it came from Wikipedia, let's say, it's no good. It's generally um, inaccurate because a lot of people can edit it themselves. I should also mention that um, checking how old it is. Okay, if it's 50 years old, let's say, as compared to something that's 20 years old, most likely it might be wrong. Okay. Um, how old you find it? Um, how old it is? You just look at the um, imprint page. Okay, so it's usually at the front page of the book, or one of the first couple of pages of say a magazine. Okay. Also, um, trusted sources. The number two. Okay, where it came from. Trusted sources. So, New Scientist, for example, is a good source. I use sometimes as well. National Geographic. I'm sure you've heard of. These are reputable sources. Okay, common. Accurate sources, okay, developed by people like scientists. Okay, they're respected and well known. These are examples, respected and well known. Okay, gossip magazines, for example, gossip celebrity magazines aren't accurate, okay, because they can't be relied on. Anyone can make stuff up, right? I should also mention um, the types of internet um, sites. That's another important thing types of internet sites. Okay, URLs in this case, the um, the big line at the top that tells you where the website is located. Uh, now, some data can be incorrect, as you know, on the internet. Um, there are some links that don't work as well, okay? And that could be a sign of suspicious activity, a suspicious site. So more information, more info comes from the last part of the URL address, okay, the website name. Okay, it tells you who created the website and if it's trustworthy or not. So for example, the last part could be .au. Okay, these are Australian websites. Australian websites. .uk, uh, websites from uh, United Kingdom. Okay, so it could be England, Scotland, um, uh, Wales. .ca is Canada. .in is India, for example. Yeah. .edu would also be reliable because it's an edu um, from educational institutions, so it could be a university or a school. Institutions. OK, 
Okay. Example uni. Okay, most of them are trustworthy, right? And you've also got .gov. These are government websites, and these are usually trustworthy too. Government sites. Okay, so these are the reliable ones. These are the sort of 